Most of us know we should call support when things go wrong. But what happens when you need to take things one step further? Today, we're talking about how support ops can help you in your own environment. Hi, I have with me Maya Fiske, who is our Director of Partner Support, and Stefan Lindqvist, our Senior Support Engineer. And today they're going to tell us about support ops. So my first question is, what is support ops? I mean, support ops is basically a personalized complementary service to our support. Uh, regular support would be what is included in the subscription. The generic, um, what you probably expect kind of support, uh, like troubleshooting, unexpected behavior, investigating potential defects or problem. And we would provide support in, in any general like use case on how to use our products and solutions. Uh, then other support ops, there's more like the configuration part, like more personalized for your environment, your setup, stuff like that. Can be design, validating solutions, stuff that is not a f not just close to the product, but your, your solution towards your customers, for example. And your specific environment. Like yes. The, sort of a, the bigger picture when there's also other pieces of puzzles, uh, of the puzzle that needs to be fit together. But it could also be that you have a problem, like you have a problem in your network, something's not working. You want to troubleshoot it. You can, you can maybe even come to the conclusion it's not a firewall, but you still need to have, want some extra help. You want some personalized help from someone who knows this and how it should react. Thank you for this great definition, uh, very comprehensive. But now I'm going to be a bit uh, evil with you and I'm going to be a very worried customer and shoot at you some uh, rapid fire questions. The first one. Well, I followed the KB article, but it still doesn't work. Here support ops come into really good play. Since support ops is, as I said earlier, personalized, it helps us to help you come up with a solution for your environment, with your specifics, and give you, instead of a guide that's generic, a guide that may be personal for you, or even set up an education time for you, that we can go over the system, we can go over exactly those features, help set it up the way you want it, and give you a good understanding of how to do it in the future. So wait, I can do this myself next time. Hopefully, that's the plan. <laughs> that's the plan, <laughs> absolutely. Next one. So. What if I break something while trying to install a new feature or while trying to upgrade my firewall to the latest version? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens. First and foremost, worth saying, always take a backup before <laughs> doing any deployment. Uh, second, I mean, if something breaks and you need to go back and you need to maybe understand what happened and so forth, of course, we do a troubleshooting first, see what it is, see what happened. Um. Sometimes everything will be covered by the standard support. Sometimes we would offer you the support ops service, like an add-on or go the extra mile service, depending on, on what you need. I mean, just make sure to, to contact us. Uh, report your problem. Uh, we're here to help. You're not alone. Uh, and we'll, we'll help you out. All right, next. It all started with one single problem. And now that I have a solution, I have to explain my setup to a new person to get it implemented? Mm, no, not really. And that's one of the one of the advantages, I would say, uh, with this feature uh, or this service. Um, since you would continue working with the same technician that has helped you troubleshoot or report, you know, who's already up to speed with, with your thing, right? But I don't know which configuration is best for my use case. Yeah. And I mean, that's where support has come in also. We can help you design, we can help you discuss, we can plan, everything like that. Everything that needs to be personalized is a really good candidate for support ops because then you get something that is for you and your needs. And I mean, we are expert in four, um, foremost, clarity the product. But we are in that group, of course. <laughs> but we are also really well versed in network overall. We'll team up. You know your environment, your setting, your needs. We know our products and solutions, and mm. together we can make it work. Yeah, this education thing is great, but uh, I, I can't be an expert on everything. I can't learn everything. Can't you just do it for me? 
Of course. I mean, we can take control in, kind of, in case of support apps, take control of your environment and set something up for you. Uh, and I mean, that is perfectly fine. A lot of the customers do that to have that the, in that way. The usual way we set it up uh, is that we arrange for a time. Uh, you get the technicians needed uh, time and attention. Uh, and, and you will see and learn as much as you want to, right? <laughs> Thank you for the great uh, rapid fire answers. Um, but I have another question. Uh, can anyone request the help of support apps? Short answer, yes. I mean, as, as always, as long as you have a valid license, you have access to our ticket system. Partners, just contact us with anything you need. That's why we are partners. And customers, we usually recommend go to your partner first. At least to make sure you have a setup voucher for a time pool and stuff like that for this. So you said vouchers. How does that work exactly? You can buy a voucher for a time pool, saying, let's say, five hours, for example. Then you have a prepaid amount of five hours, and we would never then ex exceed that time. You have a finite pool, basically, for, the, for that work. And if we don't spend all of the hours, obviously, they're still back left in your pool. Yeah. Uh, so that might come in handy some other time. All right, thank you, Maya, and thank you, Stefan, for uh, for answering all my questions. Um, <laughs> do you have anything more to say to sum up everything? Just contact us, and we'll take it from there. Uh, we'll guide you through it step by step. Wow, I wish there was a support up service for all the things I use, don't you? Well, while we wait for that to happen, you can always subscribe to be notified of our next video. Thank you for watching, and stay safe.